recommend Ecuador as a travel experience because it really will give you a huge diversity when you go there. So you'll end up seeing different wildlife from you know, things in the Galapagos to things in the Amazon to Andean condors. And you'll also end up seeing a bunch of different regions and cultures that all fuse into one fantastic country. Otavalo Market is one of my favorite places to go in Ecuador. What I really love is the journey to the market. You get to go into several market towns where you see really the craftsmen working firsthand on the products that you're bringing home. So the Devil's Nose train journey is a little bit scary. Uh, you're definitely going back and forth on these switchbacks on the side of a mountain. So it's very cliffy, but it gives you beautiful views and scenery throughout. And as you get to the bottom and you get to see the full mountain, it's just absolutely incredible. So the journey from the Andes to the Amazon is very interesting by plane. Uh, you end up going through the Andean region, which is this very mountainous but not so lush region, and then you move on to the cloud forest where you still have the mountainous views, but you also have this lush green scene that's starting to arise. And then finally you end up in the Amazon where everything is just fantastically green. You've got the rivers flowing and everything is flat, so it's a totally different experience and it only takes an hour to see. So Sasha Lodge, you get there the way you get to most Amazon lodges. You would fly into Coca, and then you go to the Coca River, where you take about a three and a half hour train journey away from civilization. Once you get there, you go through a small Black River Cove to a black water lagoon, and that's where you'll find your lodge. So one of the great things about being out at Sasha is you are so far away from those oil industries, from civilization, that you get to see a great amount of wildlife, like monkeys, there's even a resident came in there. So it, it really is a great place to experience the Amazon. Cotopaxi National Park is a very cool park to go to because you get to go through so many diverse regions as you're on your way up there. So there's seven or eight ecosystems that you go through just in your journey to the park itself. And it just makes for an awesome experience. Most people know about Cuenca because of the Panama hats, which are famous from coming from there. But what I really like about Cuenca is the cool colonial history that you'll find throughout the city and how much that colonial history is still in the culture there today. So you'll find that the houses that are owned in the main square have been owned by the same families for years. And that kind of culture really has assimilated well with the new modern culture of Ecuador. And it's just very neat to see all of the different generations coming together in one city.